don't forget to subscribe! Good morning everyone, this is The Life Lights, and this video is going to be a wish list prediction of features and improvements of what we want to see in the possibly Tekken Tag Tournament 3 for PS5, PS4, Nintendo Switch, Xbox Series, and Steam. And this will be a series of videos before Tekken 8. Last time we all covered Heihachi not returning as a playable character and see how Bandai Namco did it for Sophie Tia in Soul Calibur 5. This video is for the Tekken staff, Kayane, Mark Yoon, and other YouTubers who are a fan of Tekken and Soul Calibur. And yes, there is a theory out there that the series is connected, like Crash Bandicoot and Spyro the Dragon. <laughs> That's right, Nat. Let's begin on how the game will run. Before we continue, we should actually point out that Tekken 3 Tag will run on Epic's Unreal Engine 4. And I would also like to mention that since the COVID-19 or coronavirus pandemic started off, staff at Bandai Namco Entertainment had to work from home and are capable of using their Mac OS X computer and iPad to video chat and an Ethernet cable for a stable connection. <gasps> DK, please don't be sad. Once the vaccine is out, everything will go back to the way it used to be. Let's begin with the Nintendo exclusive content! The Nintendo Switch version of Tekken Tag Tournament 3 will run it. 60 FPS like how Warner Brothers Interactive and NetherRealm Studios handled Mortal Kombat 11 since the game will run in the Unreal Red Engine 4. Mushroom Battle from the Wii U version will return to as a Nintendo exclusive mode. And Nintendo costumes are included, along with Super Mario Odyssey costumes like Wedding Mario, Wedding Peach, and Wedding Bowser will be alternative costumes. Alongside Mario, Luigi, Peach, Toad, Bowser, Princess Daisy, Wario, Yoshi, Toadette, Boo, Waluigi, Bowser Jr., and the Piranha Plant. For The Legend of Zelda, it will have costumes from Super Smash Bros. like Link to his recent appearance in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and her Link to the Past and Link Between Worlds. There will also be Ganondorf from either Ocarina of Time 3D or Hyrule Warriors, Impa from Age of Calamity, and Star Fox will have Fox, Falco, and Wolf. And there will be Pokemon since Harada directed Pokemon Tournament DX. And as for Donkey Kong, they will have Professor, Donkey, Cranky Kong, Sir, Donkey Kong the Third, Diddy Kong, Dixie Kong, Funky Kong, King K. Roll. As for Kirby, they have Meta Knight, Bandana Waddle D, Meta Knight, the Mage Sisters, Magalore, Lord Highness, and for Kid Icarus, Pit, Dark Pit, Palutena, Viridi, and as for Fire Emblem, they will include Marth, Roy, Ike, Lynn, Robin, Chrome, Lucina, Corin, Violet. Edelgard, Dimitri, and Claude. And from Animal Crossing, they will have the Villager, Tom Nook, and Isabel, Metroid, Samus Aran, Ridley, Dark Samus, Retro Characters, Ice Climbers, Ness, Lucas, KOF, Terry Bogard, Street Fighter, Ryu, Ken, Menat, and many others, and Final Fantasy, Cloud, Terra, Warrior of Light, and everyone. This game will also feature Amiibo support and Tekken Ball, which is a volleyball game and a fighting game. It's kind of fun! <laughs> now let's go over the PlayStation features for PS5 and PS4! We will now go over the PlayStation features that will be included on the newest PS5. The PlayStation consoles will have console-exclusive features like the Tekken Jukebox along with PlayStation VR. The Tekken Jukebox will have every music from Tekken 1 through 7, and this will also feature past stages as well. The, the, the PS5 is one of the newest consoles in the PlayStation franchise, so let's make sure that this release for the PS5 goes well. I'm sure we will see it. Tekken Ball will also be included as well as costumes from the PlayStation 1 through 4 era. Since Activision owns Crash Bandicoot and Spyro the Dragon, Bandai Namco might make a deal with them. Let's actually hope that Bandai Namco and Activision become great partners and collaborate on future projects. And before we talk about the Xbox exclusive content, let's go over some features that need to be fixed.
Now let's take a look at the features that need to be fixed and addressed. 1. No replay shots during knockouts. When you knock out an opponent in Tekken Tag Tournament 2, the camera will go to the 3, the depth screen will be interrupted when this happens. But in Tekken 7, this was removed due to the traumatic slow motion effect and the dynamic camera. 2. Customization features. The biggest thing about Tekken and Soul Calibur is the customization option where you get to change your character's appearance. However, the option to remove your costume costume is not available. This really needs to be addressed in the future Tekken games. Also, add the option to make your own custom character. 3. Intro animations. Introduction animations are the best part in fighting games for Tekken Tag. It will have two options, lead and your basic intro. The lead intro has only one animation while your basic intro has three special interactions will be available in this game as well. 4. Soul Calibur type weapons and special costumes. Soul Calibur has a lot of characters since its inception in 1995. With its fighting game, Cousin, many characters have Soul Calibur and Soul Edge weapons on their alignment costumes from characters who will make an appearance like Sobutia, Mitsurugi, Ivy, Cervantes, Cassandra, Zayfred, and Nightmare. So as the characters will have costumes from the fighting game Cousin, and references as well like the Astral Chaos Realm as a stage. Number 5. No Continue Countdowns. Have you ever played a fighting game like Street Fighter? And if you have lost in arcade mode, you would continue, well, since the PS4 and the Xbox One, the star, and select button have been merged into the options and the menu button so that if the player wants to continue playing, they have to press either the button to continue fighting. However, since the release of Soul Calibur 4 and Dead or Alive 5, rather than letting the player continue with a countdown, a small me menu will tell them to either restart, rematch, return to the character select, or return to the mode select. In Ultimate, the player would continue from the last stock without having even to restart the battle. Tekken 7 and Street Fighter 5 still continue this troop to this day. How are then the team are going to stop using this feature within arcade mode because people found this is really annoying and even when new players won't have a chance of winning so we think that the countdown is going to be removed. Fun fact! In Mari Williams, who was the announcer for Street Fighter 5, recorded two different game over lines. One for arcade, and one for survival mode. Impressive, huh, you? Now let's go over some features on the Xbox. Let's go over some Xbox exclusive content. They will have costumes for characters from Rare and other companies like Minecraft Steve and Banjo-Kazooie, but the head of Xbox, Phil, Phil Spencer, can let some of their IPs make an appearance as costumes like Minecraft Steve and Banjo-Kazooie. Except that, but we don't talk about that, we're about that. We're referring to the nuts and bolts banjo. Although Microsoft content can appear in the Nintendo system like Banjo and Steve only as an exclusive to make fans remind themselves of the Nintendo 64 days. The console versions will, of all three will have mini games like Mario Party and Mortal Kombat Armageddon. These include a Mario Kart style game, Tekken Kart, Tetris, and Chess. Harada and the others might Harada and Takashi you might ha want to have a talk to Ed Boon, creator-director of NetherRealm Studios, a co-creator of Mortal Kombat, and an employee of Warner Brothers Interactive about including minigames after Tekken Ball. This is actually my message to Bandai Namco Kayane, the Tekken staff in the community. And I just really hope the best fights are personal, and let's hope that Tekken Tag Tournament 3 becomes a great success. I know you can do it! It takes a lot of courage and strength to work together to make something happen. Before we go, we, there's only one more thing to talk about in the roster. Roger Jr. will not return to the animal activists, seeing a viral video of a dog headlocking a kangaroo. And the roster will have every character from Tekken Tournament 2, except the aforementioned Roger Jr. The, the newcomers from Tekken 7 will no doubt make an appearance in this game. 
including Geese Howard and Akuma. Negan from AMC's The Walking Dead will not be in this game. Sorry, Walking Dead fans. <laughs> this roster will include 57 returning characters from Tag Tournament and 14 of them from Tekken 7. Those being Akuma and Geese Howard. Kumba and the aforementioned Roger will not return these playable characters. Dragon's Nest from Tekken 5 and other past stations from Tekken 4 through 7 will make a comeback. We actually forgot to mention it about Jun Kazuma. She actually was cut from the main series after her debut, so she continued to appear in the series spin-offs including the Tekken Tag Tournament series, where her alter ego, Unknown, serves as the final boss in all of the Tag Tournament entries so far. And despite her relatively few appearances, she has gained considerable popularity among the fans of this series. We really hope that her alter ego, Unknown, makes a final boss in Tekken Tag Tournament 3. There is a 100% chance that Snoop Dogg, aka Cousin It, will come back and do a remix of the previous opening for the Tekken Tag Tournament. And it would actually just be like an improved version of it. We really hope it goes well, and I think we all got everything covered for Tag Tournament 3. So next time on the Tekken Marathon, we will start on the Road to Tekken 8 series. So we apologize that we have one more part left to talk about. Well, what do you think? If you really appreciate my videos, please be sure to subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell icon so you'll never ever miss a video the second it goes live. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and DeviantArt and comment below and give me honest thoughts and opinions because we here at Team Pikachu and the Lifelines do not want any trolls allowed. Or otherwise, Well, on the flip side, bye! <laughs>